Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top three ways that math can increase your brain power. Stay tuned for this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Recently, I was helping my younger siblings with some math and I had to lecture them on the importance of math and I had to get them to realize that there's more to doing math than just learning how to do math. I had to explain to them that learning math is really good, especially for children as they grow up, because it helps increase brain power outside of actual numbers, outside of just math or schoolwork. It helps the average person with so many things. And I wanna give you the top three things that math can help you with, and why I think it's important to keep our minds sharp when it comes to math. And first I wanna note that a lot of the hidden secrets of the universe can be found out just by being good with numbers. Here are the top three things that it helps you with. Number one, it helps you to enhance your problem solving skills. Engaging with math problems help you to develop critical thinking and analytical skills. This process actually trains your brain to approach complex problems and find effective solutions. I've always loved math growing up and I was quite good at it. I wasn't a math genius, but I loved finding different connections in math. I love coming up with my own ways to solve problems. And I see now how that has helped me. And looking back, I see that I should continue to cultivate that. I see that I should continue to allow my brain to, to grow by practicing with math problems, hard ones. And a lot of people may think, oh, well, I'm finished with school. Oh, that won't benefit me now. But keeping your mind sharp is very important. And doing occasional math problems can help you to keep your mind sharp. Number two, it improves memory and cognitive function. Regular practice of math exercises different parts of your brain. And this includes those responsible for memory and cognitive functions. This can lead to better memory retention and overall mental ability. Just think about how you as a kid made yourself remember the multiplication table, how you automatically knew the answer to nine times nine. That right there shows that you can increase your memory just by studying something. And this doesn't just apply for math. When you study and you study hard, it helps to grow your brain and it helps those connections to spark and ultimately make you more intelligent. For me, just helping students sharpen their skills with math has actually helped me to sharpen my mind as well because I have to teach it to them and I have to be a good example to them. And it helped me to really sharpen my mind as well. And I think that if people actually took out time to do things to help sharpen their mind, whether it is math or it is studying something or reading a book, I think that we would have greater attention spans. We will be able to solve the problems in our life a lot better and things of that nature. I see that a lot of people, young people nowadays have very, very short attention spans because they're spending hours and hours and hours on their device scrolling and doing things that will literally rot the brain. And then we're so quick to anger. We're so quick to frustration and stress and frustration can actually kill brain cells. So in order to restore what could have been lost from stress, from unhealthy eating, from just not allowing those connections to be made often. I think doing simple practices with math, math problems that will help you to think, math problems that will help you to focus and solve problems will actually increase your mind and boost your brain power. Number three, it boosts emotional regulation. A strong foundation in math can actually help improve your ability to understand and regulate emotions, believe it or not. This is because math encourages logical thinking and patience. Think about when you're working on a problem and it's very hard. It's very difficult. I'm not talking about what you did as a kid, but you're working on a very difficult problem or you're adding up a large sum of money because you're trying to save up for something you want to buy. Think about when you're sitting there and you're making those connections, you have to be patient with yourself. You can't miss one number because when you miss a number in math, that can often throw the whole thing off track. So it, so it encourages you to think logically 
and carefully and patiently so that you can get everything right. And your mind, when it practices doing that a lot, it's actually beneficial for managing your emotions because you had to sit there and practice with patience. You had to give yourself strength to push through and solve a problem. So imagine now you're met with a problem in your actual life. Your mind is used to this. Your brain is used to this. This isn't a hard task. This isn't too hard for you to say, hey, I need to sit here, think logically, take a deep breath, be patient, and find a solution. That right there is what a lot of people lack, and that's why they come upon so many problems. Or when they do come upon problems, they don't have proper solutions for them because their brain lacks that ability to problem solve. So forcing yourself to be patient while solving a math problem can actually be beneficial for managing your emotions. It can also be beneficial for managing stress because think about how stressful you are when you're trying to solve a very hard problem. It can be very stressful at times, but in order to get it right, you have to sit there and patiently solve the problem. That's why it is so important for children at a young age to do math, but it's not for us to forget the benefits of math. These people that create the very phones that you spend hours scrolling on are math geniuses. That's how they were able to create these electronics. Builders, guess what? They're good at math. They're good at measuring. They're good at logical thinking. They have a lot going on up here and they have great memory they have great retention and overall mental agility. They have those things and that's why they are able to take on a task so big. So math can definitely help you. And I think that is important that we keep our minds sharp. And I think that doing challenges will help us to keep our minds sharp. So with that being said, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you found these three tips to be helpful. If they were, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you have any video suggestions, Leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to do a video. With that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like.